Um, let's get the shit road on on a roll. Let's go, let's go. So <coughs> tonight, today we're making a codfish salad with apple and radish. I got some other ingredients as well. Um, let's see. Of course, <coughs> we got the codfish. Hold on. I can't start cooking. Without my wine. No, you need to wine when you cook, right? So, before we get started, let's pour some wine and drink to you, Tank Booster. Also, Fracture came in with the outer host right when I started. Appreciate that, Frack Frack. This one is to you guys. Oshanté, cheers, bottoms up. So, for the salad, we need a couple of things. Of course, the codfish. I got it right here. For you, tank, codfish is kabeljau. I got beautiful codfish over here. Um, we're gonna make the salad with some corn salad. For you, tank, that's uh, veldsla. Uh, I got radish. Nice radish. Uh, and I got the Granny Smith apple. That's like a sour, sour apple. And uh, we're also gonna add some eggs, boiled eggs to the salad. And I got nice sweet bell pepper. Look at that. That's beautiful. And what else? Garden cress. top it later and we're gonna make like a rillette uh, with uh, with the fish and the apple and we're gonna marinate the salad pomegranate vinegar granaat appel azijn and uh, yeah there's some herbs like dill and pepper and salt you know just to give it a little more sexiness um, okay, let's start cooking. Because we're way overdue. It's already 6 o'clock. I've been working one hour to get the shit on the road. <laughs> oh, you're cooking Mexican lasagna. Ooh. What, what, is that what beans? Or what, what do, what's Mexican lasagna? Is that like a spicy lasagna or something? Oh, Alright. So, I'm gonna start off with the codfish. Got right here, and I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. Just some salt, some dill, dilla, go. Maybe add a little bit more later when we're making the final product. Some black pepper. There you go. So I put the, the oven on uh, 180 Celsius. That's about uh, 360 Fahrenheit, guys. And we're gonna put it in the oven for about 15 minutes. Not too long. We don't want this fish to dry out. Gotta be nice and juicy. There you go. Also, we're gonna start boiling the eggs. I got three eggs. One, two, one, two, three. A, B, C, you and me. All right, put the eggs in. Now light the fire. Gonna boil them. There we go. So, while the fish is cooking, we're gonna cut up some stuff. It's really fast and easy dish, this one. Mm. Take a sip of the wine. You can make me that one day, Tank. Mexican lasagna, that sounds good, man. Never never had that before in my life. Hold on. I'm undressing before the camera, sorry. <laughs> a little bit hot. Everything is so hot over here. Alright. Um, yeah. So, I'm gonna cut the apple. Let's get a bowl. Don't 
Cut it in half. I always cut apples like this. Get the inside away. I'm gonna make like fine chopped apple slices. Damn, I should have sharpened my knife before I get started. It's one. Now, what I like to do, oh, my board is moving around. Make them really fine. Oh, it's a little pit. I'm only gonna use one apple. That's quite enough for the amount I'm making right now. Uh, let's switch my screens, cause uh, there you go. Okay. Right. Almost there. Yeah, it's it's so weird that you've been using a certain thing for I don't know how long, like months. So many months I've been using it and all of a sudden it says like, no, I'm not going to work anymore. Thankfully I found something on uh, the internet about it where people were talking about the same problem. And apparently this is since uh, February. I saw the messages came in, fe in on February. And um, oh, what's happening? And yeah, the it just stopped working basically, from what I have read. Um, but thankfully, this guy came up in the in the forum and he said like, oh, just connect it to your, uh, just connect it to your laptop. So that's what I basically did right now. I can see it having problems to be sharp. Yo, Jay, what's up? Chef JJ, guys, when you look at Chef JJ's uh, streams, you'll see he's first of all an amazing chef. And I really like how he has his camera and audio and everything set up. Um, so forget about me. I mean, I'm, I'm still like rookie on this go watch chef jt i think he's from california uh yeah i really love his uh his the way he does the cooking streams he does it way more often than i do i'm more about the gaming you know but uh yeah what's up chef hola hola thank you for tuning in man I had problems today with the camera. Apparently, uh, full screen mode is uh, through Xbox doesn't work anymore. So right now I got it on uh, on my laptop, but I can see it have trouble uh, with uh, quality. Yes, you made it. Well, uh, I supposed to be uh, done by now, NSR, but due to difficulties with the camera and full screen modus through streaming, which didn't work anymore, uh, it, the stream was delayed. And yeah, I just started basically. Good morning. Uh, 9 a.m. over here. Oh shit! Wow, that's really early. Over here it's uh, 6 o'clock, 6 p.m. Mm. 
Cheers, guys. I got. Uh, I do have to admit, Jay. I kind of stole the wine thing about from you. You know, I saw you drinking wine on your cooking streams, and I was like, yeah. If you cook, you can't really not drink wine, right? For you guys who just tuned in, I uh, just put uh, the fish in the oven, the cut fish, and I did really simple with pepper, salt, and some uh, dill. I got right here, dill. I got some dried dill, so no fresh today. Racist coffee cup, let's go. <laughs> yeah, no wine for you this this early in the morning, right? Uh, and yeah, we're making a codfish salad. Hold on, hold on. With some radish and sour apple. I've cooked. There you go. And yeah, like I said, the, the fish is in the oven. I cut the apple over here. It's like a sour, sour apple. I really love these. Uh, Granny Smith, I think Jay knows them. Yeah, if you're if you like salads, if you like fish, then this is really nice. Okay, let's continue. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'm glad I got this shit road on the way because I was about to cancel the stream because the full uh, full camera didn't work. Um, but after some research, I've found out uh, the only bad thing right now. It seems like when I'm right now, I got the camera plugged into my laptop, but it seems like uh, it's not uh, like the the quality keeps going around. But I guess we'll just have to deal with it. Otherwise, it would be no stream at all, you know. How are you, Carissa? Are you doing good? Oh yeah, I also uh, got some eggs over here in the pan. I'm boiling those. We're gonna add them to the salad later. And right now I'm just yeah cutting some stuff for the salad. I'm gonna cut this nice, beautiful Dutch homegrown sweet bell pepper. Look at that shit. It's delicious. I always want the fresh ingredients for the cooking stream. Take the You're still sleepy. Don't tell me you, you woke up uh, just to get in the, the live cooking stream. I mean, I appreciate it, but it sh shouldn't affect your night rest, uh, Carissa. Well, you can all go always get back to sleep after, of course. This is a very fast and easy dish. So uh, I don't expect this to take long. <laughs> Oh yeah, I, you know, I didn't know when you put a countdown on Instagram, I didn't know that people who see the countdown can actually like select it as an alarm. I didn't know that. I, I just put it on so people know when I get started, you know. So I'm gonna slice this, this bell pepper julienne, like they call it. It's like really fine. Thank you for the for the love emoticons, Carissa. Thank you. Did you get any dubs last night with Ryan? Was it last night I was watching or this afternoon? I can't remember. I have short memory loss. Too much green tea. <laughs> So, I got the bell pepper all cut up. Oh. As you might see over here, this is my backyard over here. And you might see the light coming from outside. It's beautiful weather today in the Netherlands. But yeah, we can't go outside, unfortunately. You all know why. Uh, what else are we going to cut for this salad? I got a red onion. Hold on. Since you guys just tune in, I'll bring out the ingredients list once more. There you go. These are the things I'm using for the salad. The, the codfish, the apple, 
and the mayonnaise are for the roulette. I'll write it down in uh, in chat. It's I think Jay knows it. It's like a type of dish you can make with all kinds of ingredients. Just like you have, uh, I don't know, lasagna or something, you know? You've got all different kinds of lasagna. So really yet, that's also like a type of dish. It comes to kind of like, um, no, not chutney. It's not like chutney. Uh, it's more about how you cut it and how you mix it, I think. What's up, Ryan? Hi, Bob. What's up? Also tuning in. Appreciate that a lot, guys. Uh, Chef JJ is also in the chat, guys. He also does cooking streams. Um, in my opinion, way more professional than I do. Unfortunately, he lives uh, in California, so I'm I'm always having trouble to catch his streams because I'm usually sleeping or whatever, you know. Uh... All right, and sorry, no problems, no worries. Thank you for jo joining. Appreciate that a lot. Got the screenshot. Okay, and I'll take it away again. Let's see how I do. I want to cut this. I cut the uh, in half. Like like half rings. This is just to like fill up the salad, you know, the the bell pepper and the onion. Don't think I will be use it. Uh, there's no such thing as a press vessel. Well, I get paid for it, so. I guess that makes me kind of like a professional, right? Cheers. How are you, Rabo? Thank you for the love. Let's go. All right. Now, this radish, that's, I don't eat it a lot. But I don't know why, actually. Because it's so delicious. Look at these beautiful radish. So I'm gonna wash them real quick off cam. Like my my sink is behind the camera. I I asked my girlfriend who is at home right now to do the camera work, so it doesn't have to be a stationary cam, you know. But uh, yeah, she she didn't feel like it. <laughs> so. We're doing it like this. Oh, radish. Who here likes radish? Or don't like radish? I can imagine people don't like radish. Can be quite sharp. Ain't <laughs> no such thing like a professional. Hold on, I've check on my codfish for a second. Oh, that's coming along nicely. I put it in the oven at 180 Celsius. That's about 360 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna bake it for a maximum of 12 minutes. You like radish, but I like the spicy food. Nice, nice, nice Jay. Jay Tay. I uh, I enjoy eating radish, but like I said, I don't eat it a lot. I don't know why. because if I eat radish, it's usually in a like in a salad, you know. And well, even though I like salads, it's we eat a lot. Me and my girlfriend, so I think that's the reason why we don't uh, eat it a lot. Rybom coming in with the embers. Cheers. Let's go. Thank you, Rybom. Thank you so much. Why isn't it doing the ember hype thingy? I gotta do it manually. Let's go, appreciate those embers. Right bomb. Thank you so much. So, peel off all the radish. 
don't think I'll be using them all. It's quite a lot. Let me wash my hands. So the eggs are boiling. I'll be boiling them for about five to six minutes. I don't like uh, soft cooked eggs. It has to be more like bodied, you know. It's just a little slow. All right, Rybon. Appreciate you dropping by, man. Take care. Thank you for the lurk. Appreciate that. Just gonna cut these up. Oh, this one's really dirty. Dirty radish. And when you, uh, Jay, when you use radish, do you keep the crowns on, like the for for the looks, or do you always take them off? I'm taking them off right now. The little green crown, you know. But I see a lot of dishes where they leave it on just for the looks, you know. But I hate it to eat it like that because you have to peel them off if you're gonna eat it, you know. I do not enjoy eating those, those, those. <laughs> my, my accent went weird there. Mm, there you go. I think that's... I'm gonna do one more after this. That should be enough. Maybe just eat one. Just like that, you know. I love it. It's healthy too. Mm. Delicious. But if you don't like radish, people, you can leave it out. So, that's quite enough. The radish out of the way. So I'm gonna take out the, the codfish out of the oven. It's been in there for 12 minutes on 180 Celsius. I don't want this to be overcooked, you know. That would be a shame. There you go. The green rabbit coming in with the host. Is that like an auto host or a normal host? I, don't know. I really can't tell. Anyway, rabbit, I appreciate that. This is another good excuse to bring out one of my chicken avatars. Where are you, rabbit? Rabbit? Ah, there he is. Show yourself. He doesn't want to show himself. Oh, he does. There he is. It's the green rabbit. <laughs> Thank you for that auto host. I think it's an auto host. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let the codfish cool down for a second. Uh, come on, rabbits, get your ass out of here. <laughs> and he's gone. Take another sip of this wine. Yeah, it's uh, firm. I think, um, like codfish, if I would eat fish, I think codfish is one of my favorites. Or sea bass. I don't like salmon all that much, though. Unless it's smoked salmon. Two hundred. Oh shit! Appreciate sparks, Jay. Mowing the lawn. <laughs> Let's go. Thank you for all the sparks. Two hundred. Is is the mow lawn? Oh god, that's two hundred k sparks. Damn, you're rich on sparks, hey. <laughs> So the eggs are nearly done. 
gonna use this same bowl over here where the apple sorry for the decoration go thank you so much for the sparks chef jj all right so the i did the fish with just some pepper some salt and dill so that's it you know nothing more I wanted to add uh, some lemon juice as well but I forgot the lemons so and I like because of the situation in the world with the virus you know I don't want to just go back to the supermarket for a lemon you know as least as I can be at the supermarket I try to you know I don't want to be there all that much so I'm gonna take out the corn salad which is still in the fridge so I got some beautiful corn salad hold on let me switch this up for you guys put it all otherwise you guys can't see anything beautiful corn salad and again I'm gonna actually make it quite easy I got some pomegranate vinegar I got like a whole hold on I'll show you guys time to move the camera around a little bit so this is my uh, my secret closet over here look at all this shit I got dried herbs I got a whole bunch of vinegars and different kind of oils like pistachio I even got this one over here champagne vinegar that's like really sexy vinegar Jay and let's see watermelon vinegar I used to have orange oil but that one's empty so I need to get it so yeah I I always have spices laying around, you know, so I can create stuff. But uh, yeah, I don't need anything from this closet anymore because I got everything on my desk right here. Aromat, yeah, I don't use that. I don't use. I. This is not a lie, chef. This is not a lie, Jay. I didn't buy that shit, okay? I don't use it. I don't use it. Unless sometimes when I make soup and I forgot the bouillon, you know, and I don't have bouillon, then I use the aromat. <laughs> but hell no. I didn't buy that shit, Jay. Trust me. That's my girlfriend. Uh, you got some good wish. Oh, yeah, I used the... Uh, I'm going to get a bottle tomorrow. Because this one is empty. It now figures as a standard for my camera. This is the the balcony, double wooded, 12 years old. Uh, it's like double cast. First they put it on a on a whiskey oak barrel for six years, and after that they put it on a on a, a cherry oak barrel for another six years. And this is just the, the, the like the package, so I can show you the bottle. The bottle is gone because it's empty, but I will get uh, a new one tomorrow because I still got like these uh, coupons for the shop. I get it. Like I think this. Yo, what up, Mac 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 coming in with the auto, with the host? I wanted to say auto host. It's not an auto host. What's up, Mac Mac? Appreciate that. Another lovely be being on mixer. Leon is here as well. Hello, Leon. Hold on, I got a Mac Mac chicken, right? There he is! Ta -da! With his MLB baseball cap. Let's go. What's up, Mac Mac? Thank, thank you for the sparks. Also, an L Killer coming in. You're drinking good coffee. Oh shit, yeah, it's early on your, guy, on your end, right? Vegas. I think you're from Vegas. That's what I love about Mixer, guys. Like, People show up from all over the world. For me, it's not about the game or, you know, look at me, how good I am in the game. No, I really enjoyed 
getting to know you guys and about your culture and what you do in daily life and also learn languages you know like for example rainbow and frag they all also speak spanish you know i like to catch up with that and for me that's what mixer is about you know get to know the world so i think this one is cooling down yeah i'm gonna take off the eggs what kind of coffee are you drinking mac mac Like we say, you gotta scare the eggs. Otherwise you can't peel them. So, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, the, the corn salad. Thank you Tank for the shout outs to Mac Mac. Mac Mac. Mac Mac. Uh, I got the pom grenade vinegar. I'm gonna put that over the salad. Mix it up. There go. Just use your hands. This is cooking, guys. Go. So. Bell pepper. Some onions. Red onions, that is. Oh, it's just typical coffee. Okay, well, that can be good too, right? I, I also use just normal plain coffee and maybe every once in a while, you know, uh, get like a more uh, special coffee bean. Holy shit, Mac Mac, dropping the embers, let's go. <laughs> the goats, it's the goats. <laughs> What's up? Thank you, man. Appreciate that so much. 500, holy shit. Thank you so much, man. Um, Tank, can you also shout out Chef JT, who's an excellent chef here on Mixer. How many episodes did you make so far, uh, uh, Jay? You got like plus 100 already, or I think? No, maybe not. I don't know. I know you do it a lot. So, got the reddish. Here we go. Hotski day. Remember hype? Thank you so much, uh, Mac Mac. Thank you, Tank. Another great chef on Mixer here, guys. Chef JT. You should see that guy. He's got like different, like multiple cameras. Um, I have to, like I said in the beginning of the stream, I have to admit. I got the, the wine drinking during the stream from him, so uh, you should have copyrighted that shit. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But yeah, I totally agree. You have to drink a bottle, well not a whole bottle, just a glass of wine during the cooking stream, right? Uh, three or a week for like eight months. Three times a week? Oh shit. That's a lot. I missed a few in October and December. All right. Yeah, so far I like watched one of your streams. You did like, uh, what was it? I think you had something like a sandwich or something with uh, pork out of the oven. I remember you took it out of the oven and oh, it was so greasy and looked really good. Yeah, I got a Cabernet Sauvignon from uh, South America, Chile. Um, I don't know if I don't care if it's commercial. The Gato Negro, the black cat. It's like uh, it's really sweet, but a little bit of sour too. So it's not like you're drinking like uh, teenage wine or something. You know, it's really nice, round, subtle wine. I don't like sour wines. You know, it has to be, for me. It has to be sweet. Mm. I feel the same, uh, Jay. I feel the same because it's different you know of course most people who stream they they do uh, games of course and sometimes you see a DJ like making music but like or maybe someone's painting or whatever 
and there are people here and there doing live cooking streams but not that much you know so for you and me we're just a small group on mixer and um yeah i i i, I wish not necessarily just the cooking streams but different types of streams besides the gaming i think this would also be good for mixer you know if if there's more variety uh, i think if you don't like reddish you should use some spring onions in it it's a good uh, replacement yeah yeah it's also a little bit sharp spring onions so yeah well me personally i got some left over here i love reddish i'm by the way if you guys wondering what i'm doing I'm waiting for this fish to cool down so I can add it to my apples because if I put it in warm the apple will like he does the apple doesn't like that oh yeah El Cat I follow her too I know she doesn't but she's a really good DJ too uh, I think a bunch of trade crafts that would be awesome would love to see someone metal yeah just crazy stuff you know or maybe somebody who is building a table or something or uh, I don't know furniture whatever you know mix it up a little yeah she's really cool man she also does gaming but I usually tune in when she's doing the DJ uh, you have a potter on here that's a great fall asleep stream a potter like making like this like <laughs> you mean that would potter remember i'm i'm not english you know i'm 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 a dutch guy so uh i might not know every word okay yeah okay right nolian <laughs> he makes pots that's crazy <laughs> Refill. Oh shit. Goes fast. Alright. Oh, um, what else? Maybe I got salad. Some pepper. Extra pepper. A little bit of salt. There you go. So, I'm gonna put the salad away for a bit. And continue the rillette. Where is my towel? I was sitting right on it. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna add the codfish to the apple. It's still a little bit warm, but that's all right. Get this out of my way. Dude, that's an excellent because you're 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 a specialist in that tank, Buster. Maybe maybe you should do that, man. That's a great idea. I hereby want to have a petition that Tank Buster should be a streamer too. I would definitely watch that shit. Watch somebody prepare like make beer. I know you got the tools at home for that tank. I know, I, I haven't heard you about it long well now though. I knew there was a period you did that a lot. So uh, yeah, that's a great idea. I don't think there's anybody on stream, no matter what platform, Twitch, Mixer, you know, I, I don't know. I don't think there's anybody <laughs> doing that shit. That's, that's a great idea, man. Preparing beer. Okay. So I added the codfish to the apple and I'm gonna just crunch it and mix it. Oh. Should remain in the bowl, Jermona. So I don't have a lot of stuff added to this uh, really yet. Just some pepper and some salt and some dill. I mean, you don't want to waste the taste of the fish, you know, all that much. 
Maybe a little bit of garlic in there too. I'm not doing that right now, but no, if you're making this yourself at home. Okay, get this out of the way. Don't need that. Clean up a little bit. There you go. So, right now, I I wanted to make this myself, but I never did it, so I had to look it up, and turns out it was quite some work, but I want to keep my sh cooking stream short, so I bought, like, a pre-made one, but this, this is just some bread for next to the salad, you know, and it's called uh, focaccia, it's like Italian flatbread, these ones are actually pretty good, they don't have to go long in the oven, so uh, this one is with olives and uh, bell pepper and oregano. Uh, maybe for another time, it's it's maybe a nice idea to make the, it myself. I looked up the recipe and uh, doesn't seem hard to make, but yeah, it, it takes a lot of time. So uh, that's why I bought the pre-made one. Of course, I chose a, a more excellent one instead of the cheap shit. You have to get some new stuff, yeah man. Like you need to get a camera. Uh, well, you already have a mic. Well, you don't need more, I think. So I put the flatbread in the oven. Same temperature, about five minutes. I mean, flatbread doesn't have to uh, be in the oven all that long. Yeah, you should call yourself uh, the beer buster instead of tank buster. It's not that hard to make, okay, but isn't the process really long the, to make beer? I don't think you can do that in like one hour or something, right? Yet. Now, this for non-Dutch people might be a little bit disgusting. I know a lot of people in the world don't like mayonnaise. Um, if you don't like mayonnaise, just buy some yogurt. Works perfectly fine. Uh, I, right now I got a, a mild uh, mayonnaise, so it's not like a really full one. Uh, not only the camera... Oh yeah, I thought you already had the brewing stuff tank. Oh, this one is empty. <laughs> well, why do you put it back in the fridge if it's empty? So if you don't like mayonnaise, use yogurt. Maybe that's even nicer. But I, yeah, it's just, it's a weird dish, but it's really lovely. So I'm gonna do like three tablespoons, uh, teaspoons, just to make it a little bit more uh, smooth, you know. Mix it up. Oh, whoops. There are brewers on Mixer. Oh, I didn't know that. Hmm. So, if Tank starts doing it, he won't be the first. <laughs> but still, it's a great idea. It's a, it's a really great idea. Okay, so I tasted this. At least you need a little bit more pepper. It's a little plain. And spice it up and a little bit of salt. That should be fine. And I got I bought this in Rotterdam. It's like a high class herb mix. It's got like uh, garlic in it and pepper and some Italian herbs, some Moroccan herbs. Mm. It just goes along with everything, basically. I bought it at the food market. It's high quality stuff, guys. 
it's like a mix just to give it a little bit of more zing to it all right so really it finished we're about to wrap things up guys So I got the eggs. Feel them. But don't get disencouraged, Tank. I mean can still do it I mean it's not like there are just as much beer brewers doing it live like there are gamers streaming games live you know just like me and uh, Jay chef Jay and me are not the only ones who do the cooking streams man but because it's such a selective group who does it I think it's still uh, how do you say it I think it's a great idea, especially because you're a Dutchman, Tank. You're a Dutchman. I mean, we're famous for beer. We got Heineken, right? Of course, maybe German people are more famous for the beer in Belgium. Oh, here's a question for you guys. What is your favorite beer? Like, I really like, uh, it's a Belgian beer. This is my favorite beer, Leve Blonde. Let's go. So I'm gonna cut these eggs. Just put it on the side. Woo! It's moving around. <laughs> go. So. All that's left is the brilliette, of course. I'm just gonna put that in the middle of the dish. Now, this we're just gonna eat it, the two of us, me and my girlfriend. But the amount I made is more like you could give it to everybody, like have a I don't know, invite your parents or friends. It's, it's enough for everybody. So I got the real the codfish really in the middle. And now to finish it off <coughs> I got this beautiful, beautiful garden cress. Look at that. What I'm gonna do is just get a scissors. Oh, it's off cam. Sorry, guys. Didn't notice that. Nice garden crest. Go. Also, this is so delicious, guys. Garden cress. Go. Clean my thing again. Go. I will move the camera around in a bit, guys. I'm gonna see how my flatbread is doing, my Italian flatbread. It's almost ready. So we got the codfish, really it. And we got the, the salad with the, with the eggs and the corn salad, sweet bell pepper, the radish. What else did we got? Oh, yeah, the garden cress, of course, the red onions, 
the pomegranate, pomegranate, or how do you ever you say it? We say uh, granate apple. The vinegar made of it. Very nice. Flatbread is almost ready. So right now I'm gonna be back in 30 seconds because I gotta call my girlfriend. The dinner is almost ready. So hold on, guys. I'll be right back. Schat, eet spijt klaar. A little early for salads. Uh, well, not over here, uh, Jay. Like, that's like one of the few things that are still here. Like, when it comes to uh, the meat or eggs, those are the things that are really... Uh, they just basically disappeared from the supermarket. <laughs> But veggies, no, no. But we, in our country, we got like a really big uh, veggie production, you know? Heineken. Blech. Yes. Whiskey. Uh, when it comes to alcohol, whiskey is my favorite. But I won't drink it uh, like as much as um, like wine or beer, obviously, because it's more heavy stuff. Oh, that's also nice. That that's how it has like. Uh, wait, I have to say this in Dutch because uh, I don't know the English word. It's like a. Of nagisting, toch, Bram? Yeah, it's it's healthy apart from the mayonnaise. Everything else is healthy about this dish, uh, Jay. And. Perfect when you're giving a party and you just want to have a salad along with uh, along with the rest of your meal, you know. For example, you're whole, you're having a barbecue and you invite some friends, and of course, barbecue, meat, 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 lots of meat. But it's nice to have like a side dish, like a salad or whatever. This is perfect because it also it's fish, you know. So, in my opinion, uh, I think there should be. Be more use of fish during barbecues because it's always always about the meat but you can also put fish on the barbecue why can't you do that you know why does it always have to be uh the be meat you know fractured appreciate that out host let's go fractured no oh i'm sorry yeah i'm cooking leon so i can't do bank heist right now <laughs> Shared my main homie on mixer. Mm. So the flatbread is ready, guys. <coughs> um, Ooh, hot, 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 hot. So, there you have it, codfish salad with green apple, radish, eggs, bell pepper, uh, onions, corn salad, garden cress, pomegranate vinegar, me and my girlfriend are gonna eat this shit right now. I got the, the flatbread going on. Um, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. No money shot today. Because yeah, me and my girlfriend are going to eat it together. And uh, she doesn't want to be on cam. So. Uh, which are bottled for a sec. Yeah, for a sec. That's what I meant. Think. It, it's there for a second uh, fermentation. Yeah. Um, trust me, Leon. Uh, when you eat this, it doesn't really... Well, of course you taste fish, but because of all the things combined, it's... Trust me, you'll like it. Trust me. Also, if you just make the roulette, what I always like is to put it on a 
slice of bread. Also very nice. Just put it on some bread. I want to thank you all guys for dropping by. Uh, sorry of the delay. I wanted to start at 5 p.m. But yeah, apparently uh, full screen modus on uh, true Xbox doesn't work anymore. Eventually I fixed it by plugging my webcam into my laptop. And as you can see, it worked. Thankfully, I didn't have to call uh, call it off, you know. Um, I'm gonna take a quick peek at who's online. No, to drop the host. Take a quick peek. peek, -a -peek, -peek, -peek. Mm, let's see who are we going to host. Oh shit! I'm on I'm on the mixer homepage. She. <laughs> uh. Oh well, look at that! Amazing Peter Gaming is online, and he usually streams. Uh, but on Sunday, on Sundays, he's filming his wife cooking. So we're gonna just go to the next cooking stream, and yeah, I hope you like it. They're also from my country, the Netherlands. They're a little bit older, so it's really fun, you know, to see also different ages on Mixer. Uh, if you're interested, stay here. Go check them out. He does the filming, she does the cooking. It's really awesome. Uh, yeah. I'll see you next time, and I'll be back tonight. I think Call of Duty, Leon, Bram, I think, right? Right? Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Yeah, tonight, Leon. Tonight, Warzone. Tonight. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll text you, okay? I'll text you. Appreciate all the feedback. All the hosts. The Sparks. The Embers, of course. A couple of people drop by with the Embers. Thank you so much. And uh, I'll see you later, guys. Peace out. Peace out. We're gonna say hi to uh, amazing... Amazing... Peter and his wife. Alright guys. Later. Peace out. Peace.